Greetings from Atolia. I am the Lord Bones and I've taken basically a little bit of a break recently from doing any kind of videos because I was trying to put my time into other projects. However, I am back. I found some time to be able to carry on recording. Now, I did happen to play a different family on The Sims whilst I was just messing about. Believe it or not, playing this game doesn't take the most amount of time. Actually, editing the videos takes up way more time than actually anything else, especially considering and I record a hell of a lot more than uh, I end up putting up. So we're going to go back and we're going to play as... Ooh, okay, these are at the summer home. And these are at... Oh, wait, what's the summer home? So... She's at... Oh, she's just out. She's at Tranquid Quest in New Crescent. Oh, she's just visited somewhere whilst I was playing another sim. I think that's what's happened. So how about we go and see what she's actually doing then, shall we? And let's start this video off with a bang. So like I was saying before, the main reason why there wasn't many videos, well, any videos in the last two weeks was basically because I was trying to put stuff into a different project, which isn't going to come out just yet, but I think it needed it. But that's literally enough about that, because I don't like talking about things that I haven't made yet. So, now, last time we married, we honeymooned, and these guys, I gather, came home because I've seen them whilst I was playing the other character. And I think it was an alright episode. I think it was, it wasn't necessarily the best quality because I had a humongous disaster, but, you know, it wasn't too bad quality wise. And I think that right today we need to, well today meaning this episode, we need to really concentrate a little bit more maybe on Cade and Yuki. Oh, okay, she is in the wedding place. The place where people have their weddings. Which, randomly enough, by the way, someone actually invited me to on the other sim. I was like, you realise this place was actually made for weddings, right? Like, you just go home. Go home, star. You're, you're in a wedding venue right here. People are coming and flocking to this wedding venue. And I don't understand it. Why are they flocking over to this wedding venue? It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But then again, though, does any of the AI in The Sims make any sense? The answer is kind of not. But either way, we're going to go with this here. And we're going to go with the idea that uh, we're going to go maybe follow Cade. But it depends on, you know, what, what I actually do. And obviously, we'll concentrate on all three of them. And then maybe go over to Cade at some point. So that's probably what we're going to end up doing here. And I'm going to move my mouse mat a little bit. There we go. I kind of need the rest a little bit more today, I think. I think I'm in that kind of uh, a situation at the moment. So, let's have a look at the state of everybody. So, let's just look at the friendliness. So, her and Pelissa are still massively popular with one another. Yes, they are. Perfect. Oh, and this person here, by the way, is the person I was playing just, Diana. Which I don't mind about playing, because this is one reason, by the way, why I turn aging off. So I can go play a different sim and not have to come back and these guys be dead. That would not be a good situation. That's the main reason why I turn it off. So I want the control of it. Okay, so how is she? She's doing not too badly, and she's doing pretty poorly. Um, okay, so is there any food inside of this refrigerator? I'm gathering not. So there is a drink, and then there is chips that I haven't actually spoiled yet. So I may as well grab them and go sit down over here and get uh, her to maybe make some food because she kind of needs some. Are these all massively... they uh, the foul, foul, foul. Let's drag these into the bin. Can we drag this into the bin? How do we do this? How do we get rid of these? Nope. Oh, we can mount one of these, though, can't we? Okay, so we mount a big, what, the big one. 7.2 kilograms. 7.2 kilograms. Oh, there's three in there, though. So which one is the big one? Oh, right, okay, the 7.2 kilograms together. I could mount that one there, to be fair. Can I, shall I mount that one there as a, a token of uh, everything? So, that one there is now mounted. Shall I cut? I should probably name it something, shouldn't I, when I was over here? Name it, uh... Pelissa's? How do I forget to spell a name, though? Pelissa... Berries... Fish. I can't remember if bloody... I spelled Pelissa. It's not even on here, is it? It's on there. Oh my god, I cannot, <laughs> there's no way I can spot that anyway. Okay, does she have stuff in her inventory as well? Yes, yeah, she has a fish. So let's choose a fish to mount for her. So we have a four kilograms bass. We have a one kilogram something, and that's just nothing. So we'll have this one here, and we'll name this one Jennifer. Jen, Jen, star, fish. I don't know why I necessarily need to put the word fish in there, because obviously, what else could you possibly think... Uh, 
this thing actually was. We're going to put that one right above this one over here. Did Cade have a few fish in his inventory? No, he did not. But again, he probably can actually. Could he actually fish in? No, we can't fish in there. That's a swimming pool. We can't fish in that one there. Again, we probably could make him fish at some point. But the rest of all of these definitely need to go in the bin. But I don't know how near to get it into a bin. Do I have to drag it into a bin inside the kitchen? Or can I just drag it inside this wheelie bin? It doesn't seem as though I actually can. Do we have a bin in this bloody house? The answer is not really, isn't it? Yeah, the answer is not really. We don't really have a bin anywhere, do we? Maybe I should go and hop into build mode very quickly and go find a bin for us because it kind of might need one. And I'm going to go search the word bin. Okay, so let's get something for the kitchen bin wise. What's that one there? It's a Nan can trash compactor. So, trash can rather. The next generation of trash disposals, hands free. Replicate with a smart tech odor free because it converts organic waste into fuel, rendering the entire unit self sufficient. Okay, how expensive is that? About a grand. Okay, can this go? Is this meant to go outside? I think it might be it's meant to go outside. No, it's not. Can't, can't go inside. There's stuff above it. That's probably the reason why, isn't it? It's probably stuff right above it just there. We want to put this in the kitchen, realistically speaking, though. Oh, yeah, we put it there, don't we? So let's rotate it so we can actually get access to it. Can we put stuff into that bin there, from here? No, we can't. We still can't do that. Do you have to put it in the world? Nope. Okay. So we're stuck with this stuff. Oh, we can sell it. Yes, we can sell it. That'll do. I don't know why anyone would actually want to buy our foul fish, but we can actually sell this stuff, so that's good enough for me. And if it's good enough for me, it's good enough for, well, Plissa Berry and uh, Jennifer Starr, because let's face it, I'm the one that's controlling these guys. Oh, we got strawberries as well. Are they foul as well? Let's have a look. They are... Oh, wait, strawberry... Yes, are they foul? Quality normal. Let's bung them in the fridge then, shall we? There we go. Let's empty our inventory because I don't want uh, fish in our inventory. So she's going to go and sit down and eat over there. I want her to go and cook some food, I think, because... Well, she's cooking on the toilet now, so let's just wait left for her... Wait her... There, there, there. Can't believe speak any words kind of now. Let's have her complete that and do whatever she's doing, and then we'll choose something for her to cook. Oh, she's level three at the moment. That's pretty. That's not too bad. Let's have her make pancakes then, shall we? Eight, eight, eight servings. So that way, we can stick it in the fridge. Have uh, Jennifer eat that food there, and then, hmm, then we need to increase our social little bits. So I might have um, Pelissa Berry sit into here. Sorry, Jennifer Star staying to here, plus space sitting to there, so that way they can actually uh, do their thang. Okay, 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 so she's just going to cook that there. Oh, no, you're going to go straight to bed, aren't you? But you, you're really low on so. Oh, fine, you're going to chat with Cade. That will actually do, to be fair, because all I need really for her to do is to get her social up a little bit because it's quite low. And hopefully she does that, but now she's not going to do that at all because of her. That's fine then. How about you sit down on this table over here? And we'll wait on you to grow and grab one of them, like you are, yes. And I don't want you to sit there, though. I want you to sit here, bless her, and eat. Please sit there and eat, if you don't mind. Are you going to do that for me? No, you're not. How about then Jennifer sits here? Jennifer, you go sit there and talk to your wife now. Okie koki. Oh, and Cade's took it upon himself to cook something. What is he cooking? Cooking pancakes, obviously he must have smelt uh, Pelissa's cat pancakes and wanted to make himself some of his own, I guess. I guess that's the way this thing works now, is it? Okay, so Jennifer's social... Oh, I did know one way to get social up, actually, to be fair. And we can do that right now, to be fair. So she's probably going to want to go to bed, isn't she? I want you to stop. Stop. Go sit over there. I said, do you think I work today? Well, she's fine, actually. It's Pelissa that's not fine. Okay, we're going to wait for her to complete that there and then I know a way of getting the social all the way up to the top because it's pretty good okay come on a bit quiet oh, I'll try and go a bit slow because I don't necessarily want uh, Jennifer Star to do what she's trying to do and I'm not gonna let her do it nope you're not gonna do this you're gonna stand over here now go here now Jennifer and you're going to not do what you're doing there so you're gonna stop doing that there and now we're gonna pause it again and now you're going to Go over to her and do the option that you know what I'm going to do. Because of the fact that this option here will actually mean that the social should go up as well. I'm pretty sure the social will actually go up. Let's have a look. Let's go back onto here. Definitely the energy will because they'll probably sleep afterwards. I might have to choose um, Plissa to sleep afterwards. But um, definitely, yes, here the social went straight up to the top. 
So, Cade, don't nap. Why don't you go upstairs and do it properly instead? Go and actually um, sleep in your actual bed over here. Go and go to sleep over there. Okie okay, dokie. What is your relationship status, by the way, with your friends? Ooh, that's R, is it? Okay. So, Yuki is not that high up, and definitely not that high up in any case of... Um, is he not missing school? Yes, he is. Wake up and go to school, even though your social is really low. Hopefully your social will actually improve when you go to school. Now, Pelissa work starts in an hour. Let's wake you up. Um, what, what time does she go to work? She goes to work at 9am, so she goes to work basically now. I've got basically no time to be able to do pretty much anything. That's not too bad, because everything is actually um, up. The only thing she hasn't done today is the daily task. Can I make her inspired, though? How do I make her inspired? How does that thing work? Do I have to browse art on the web? I think that's it, isn't it? I think that's one of the ways you can do it, isn't it? Browse art on the web. Let's see if she can do that in the interim between uh, Kate going to work and maybe we can get her inspired. She will be missing a slight bit of um, work, but it won't be so much that a boss will call her, so that's fine. Oh, wait, she goes to work in our normal clothes. Okay, that's perfectly fine. You're not, you're not you know... You don't necessarily want to um, change seeing as you're going to go paint stuff, do you? Okay, either way, I'm going to let her basically sleep in because she doesn't need to go work until 5 o'clock. And I guess she'll go make some, yeah, she'll go grab the serving of the pancakes. That's perfectly fine. I'll go have her do that. Okay, Koki. And sorry for my, that, me whacking that keyboard just then. <laughs> but either way, uh, so what do we have to do for her now? Okay, we have to do our daily task and she's about to ding actually in this career over here which is not too difficult because of the fact that um, she's only at level 4 but that'd be quite good considering the fact that we kinda need to be able to afford this place okay Cade is done for the day A, B is not a bad thing okay so both of them came home at the s oh, both, they're finished at the same time don't they We've got to work at the same time. I wonder if this is a thing with uh, children in this game. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. So, here's what we need to do then. Pelissa Berry, you need to do two things. You need to use that there and go and open this here up and grab a serving of the pancakes inside of here. Now, you're pretty much fine. I'm going to get you to do some art though. So, you're going to do a landscape painting over there. Now, Cade, you kind of... I want you to be somewhat better than what you are before we go and talk to Yuki. It's now Wednesday. I kind of need... Uh, maybe the weekend we'll do something with her. Okay, we're going to go do that there, and then hopefully by the time Cade happens to finish doing what he's doing there, we can call up Yuki, and we'll see what the deal actually is. Work for Jennifer starts in about an hour. She should be able to go to work, because she's only 50% done there. Let's have a look. Is Yuki available to us? Yes, she is. Do you want to go talk? Do you want to go... Um, well, what do we do here? Can we chat with, travel with, plan social event, ask a hangout at current lot? That probably isn't the best situation in the world to be on. I could go and invite her on a date, but I doubt she'll even uh, do anything with me there, will she? Can I go... How do I actually travel to her place? I think I just press travel. Press Yuki, and then travel to her place, don't I? So, that's fine then. Go on, let's travel. Yuki will see you there. So whenever I happen to go now, she will see me there, which is perfectly fine. I mean, the problem is with this house, wherever the house is, is the fact that she'll probably end up spending most of the time on the video game and not anything else, which is a little bit of a problem, and she is definitely inside of her house. However, the problem with the date is the fact that she probably won't want to go on to a date at the moment. So I'm thinking that we go somewhere without a large amount of entertainment like the the uh, inn over here, this place. It's actually an empty house. It's not an empty house, but it is a house. Okay, let's go over to there, shall we? And let's go into this bar over here, which might be a little bit better because of the fact that she won't have much to entertain herself other than me. And that's kind of what I want the situation. I'm going here so that she can talk to Kate and maybe we can make something of this, which is what we kind of want long term. We kind of want a teenage relationship, as it were, at the moment. Even though I've never actually had a teenage relationship, so I have absolutely no idea what a teenage relationship even involves. Oh, bills have just been mailed to your house, that's fine. We can uh, deal with that when we get back home, so that's fine. Maybe 14,000 and we've got enough to last us another, like, three weeks or something ridiculous. Okay, so, let's happen to stick some stuff on. So, we're going to 
ask about day. We're going to just queue up a bunch of friendly things over here. And then I'm just going to press fast forward. So we're going to brighten the day. We're also going to press onto here and discuss DD techniques. Won't actually be the worst idea in the world because she is actually in the same club as us. And then we're going to bring on the flirtiness, I think. And flirt and see whether or not that there actually works. So go on, Kate. Now you actually have to talk to her now. So I'm going to press 1 here to see whether or not this lands. Does this land? Okay, so currently I'm actually talking about Dita Techniques. I kind of want them to talk about this now. Okay. Is this going to land? It landed. Okay, perfect. It actually landed, which is kind of what I want. I can't remember if I actually kissed her in one of the actual situations, actual things, actually. I can't actually remember. So I want to compliment her appearance. I want to, I want to do... Sort of rotate between sort of friendly things and romantic things because if you come on too strong too quickly, you can actually um, ruin it for yourself a little bit. I've noticed. You sort of have to rotate things a little bit. I don't know whether you want to do a uh, funny thing instead to tell a funny story. Okay, and then we're going to do another romantic option and we're going to embrace and see how those go on. So basically, let's say it was like a, a date, but she doesn't know it's a date. So that's fine. That's probably for the best because, ooh, okay, so that actually worked then. Suggestive conversation. Have a deep conversation. That's perfectly fine now. He's tense. That's the problem here. Okay, so, can I, shall I, rev shall I do a bold pickup line considering, okay, we're going to press play here. On a bold pickup line, we're going to press play. Okay, I know he's tense, but, Oh, she's tense. Oh, she's... Okay, that worked. Wait, yeah, that passed. And then she just left. <laughs> that passed and then she just left. What, 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 what was the result of that? Is she girlfriend? What, what is the situation here? She's, she's not here anymore. She just disappeared. Because she's tense. I'm not sure if that worked, though. Relationships, acquaintances, just friends. She's just friends with us at the moment. I did a bold pickup line, and she didn't exactly do anything from that. I think you have to ask to go steady, don't you, in order to be up there. But she has a tiny amount up on there. However, Kay does need to go to sleep, and does need to go and engage in some fun. Oh my dear lord, why on earth is this person walking around with a hoodie on? Who's this person actually here? Oh, okay, Catalina. Fair enough then. I can't remember if I've even been to this bar yet, to be fair. Okay, let's go home, shall we? Because we kind of need Kay to be a little bit higher up anyway. And she's tense. We might be able to ask her on a date now, this next time. Because of the fact that her flirty, uh, flirtiness, her loveliness for Cade is actually a little bit higher. Which will actually be a good thing. So, okay. So, Cade, you need to do a lot of things. And one of the things you need to do is you need to... I reckon we shouldn't go to sleep right now because you will not wake up at the right time. So, let's go grab the pancakes. Is Are these two... What is she doing right now? She has not even started her daily task. So obviously she didn't do it whilst I was away. Go do a large landscape painting because you're pretty much fine, aren't you now? Yes, you are. And that will actually help you out. And now you need to grab a serving of that there. And then I reckon you need to go and watch TV. And you can probably do these both at the same time. Then go to bed because it'll probably be about time for your bedtime about then. Probably like 9 o'clock or something like that. And I'll just concentrate on Pelissa whilst uh, Cade whizzes around and does his thing. It'd probably be in the same room, to be fair. And I kind of want her to finish her daily task. Maybe. Oh, what was that phone for? It's Cade. Yuki, maybe? Uh, I can't. Nope, sorry, I'm not, I'm not high enough on anything. Unfortunately. It's a school night, and I know you don't go to school, so it's not exactly as if uh, that's something you should do. Actually, to be fair, one of the things we should do is actually to... Ooh, okay, quality, excellent, apparently. That's fairly nice, then. So we're going to do another one of these. Just do a confident paint, shall we? One thing, by the way, is we kind of need to do um, our homework at some point. I don't, we might be able to squeeze in tomorrow morning. I don't know yet. So, animal jokes. Oh, okay, this is a Blister Star, a Blister Star, a Jennifer Star actual thing here. So, animal jokes. A local, a local animal shelter has invited Jennifer to MC their fundraiser, but she forgot to prepare. Should she mine the internet for animal jokes or wing it and hope for the best? Um, mine the internet? Is that actually a good option? Let's pause this right here. So, what a howl. There's nothing animal lovers more, love more than good animal jokes. This crowd goes wild and rates generously. Now these animals should have a better quality of life than Jennifer does. Medium performance gain. 
So that's pretty good. Where are we? Oh, we're probably going to get promoted actually, because look at now the actual. Other than the fact that we're not necessarily at the right mood at the moment, we are pretty high up here. Let's just uh, close that one off right there. Cade, are you? I just told you to go to bed. Are you going to... Are you... This is going to nap. No, it's going to sleep. Good. How about you turn this here off so Pelissa doesn't get distracted and. Hopefully we'll wait for Jennifer to come home at some point we need to eat as her and then go to sleep. Okie Koki. So Kay's actually got a thing here. What's this thing here? Oh my god, go away, Candy Bear. You've just been at the island bluffs and they asked me to go out somewhere. Okay, so Jennifer comes home fairly soon. I think it's like eleven o'clock or something. Also, where in the frick was this bloody maid today? This maid has not come today whilst we were Talking to Yuki or anything actually. Do we actually still have a maid? Is that is, 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 is have these cancelled the maid maybe? Uh, oh, pay bills is probably something, something you probably do. But order service, where is that onto here? Hire a service. Oh, okay. So here we are. I told you we're going. To, we're actually going to um, upgrade here. So now we're at the position where we can choose either to be a comedian or a musician, which is pretty obvious. So let's just read the comedian one just whilst we're here. So the life of a professional comedian isn't funny, isn't all funny business. So practice those impressions and prepare for the topical jokes. We reward the ability to try out material in front of friends. The gift of music simply must be shared. Tickle those keys and strum their strings, and as your adoring fans fall in love with your every melody, rewards include the ability to be inspired through your music. So we are going to press musician, because that's exactly what he wants. So we've been promoted to Jingle Jammer. Jennifer has been promoted to Jingle Jammer. She'll now make an additional $13 per hour with a grand total of $67 per hour, and she is receiving the following bonus. About, about a grand, and the next shift starts Thursday at 2 p.m. Okay, our shifts have changed again now. Do they line up with Pelissa's in any way, shape, or form? So we're currently on Pelissa right now. So we need to figure this out, don't we? Do any other days actually line up? The answer is no. They still don't line up just yet. I'm hoping at the end they will actually line up. We do get another vacation day right here, though. Which is not too bad. I'm not sure how many vacation days they actually end up spending, to be fair. Okie Koki, so you are stinky apparently. So how about you take a quick shower and then... The thing is, you're not actually that tired because obviously you've been... Oh, bugger, I just... I'm an idiot. So she's paid the... Oh, she didn't even pay the bills. Pay the bills. Right. And then hire a service. Go for it. Do I anything now? Press OK. Which is pre OK. So, oh, scheduled maid isn't even scheduled. Okay, now it's scheduled. I don't know why that scheduled maid did not uh, get uh, made up, so that's fine. So, Pelissa, you, I want you to just sit up here and wait patiently for Jen. Oh, okay, never mind. I want you to go over to her and not in a bush. I want you to do that. And then, Cade's obviously asleep in there, isn't he? Yes, he is. Are they actually going to do that there? Yes, they are. She's uncomfortable at the moment, but I think they are actually going to do that there. Yes, they are. Okie kokie. So, with that in mind... Oh, she's like, going to go to sleep, actually, while she's here. Go to sleep while she's here. There we go. That's probably easier. That way then I can actually speed up time a little bit. I mean, obviously, they'll wake up at all different times. They probably want to press pause at about 7 o'clock to be able to get Cade and Pelissa ready. But other than that, there, we should be all fine. Now, Jennifer actually would go to work earlier than she has previously. So, Cade's just the first person to wake up at 6 a.m., which is probably a good time to wake up, to be perfectly honest with you. So, I'm going to make uh, Pelissa Berry just open up, at the, open up uh, to wake up at this time. And we're going to go and sort out these guys. Actually... Don't do that one there because you're quite stinky. So instead, how about you go into here and you have. Right, she needs to be inspired. Is there a soak that does inspire? Such a soak does energize. Lavender does something. I actually can't remember if any of these actually do anything else. Let's try milk and honey neck meal soaks and see what the mood actually becomes from that there. How bad are you right now? You just need some food, don't you? So go grab a serving of that food there. And then I want you to then go for a wee, and then you should basically be fine, to be perfectly honest with you. Although it would be nice if you happen to do your homework before you go to um, school. 
School starts at about an hour. Can you do your homework, do you think, in that much time? Where is your homework also? That might be something I need to find. Okay, where is your homework? This place is an absolute stake because the maid hasn't come in a while. Okay, is your homework... Here's the problem with this thing. This homework could be on any counter anywhere in the house. So, how about I do a jump cut over to here, and I've searched the entire house, it was nowhere. And I thought, I actually remember we got some appliances when we invited people to the household to the wedding. Have we got stuff in household inventory, like appliances and things? And I thought, wait, is Kay's homework in the household inventory in order to stop him from putting it down when he went on vacation? The answer is yes, it's right here. I found his homework. However, whilst we are here, can I just put this down somewhere? Okay, put this down on the table over here. Let's have a look at what actually is in here. So, Cade actually caught two fish. What are these two fish though? That fish and that fish. So how about we mount this fish here? Can't actually do that, can we? Oh, we can we place it in our inventory, can't we? Not in the household inventory, so I'll do it there. We'll bump it up there for like two seconds. What do we actually get then? So we got a in full bloom centerpiece. Well, not by getting a silver wedding or higher. We've got a wedding floral basket, and we got a caffeinator, which I guess we kind of have a coffee machine already. We now have a food and tromulator. Is that better than this thing? The Omni Weaver. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, it's considerably worse, to be fair. We have a towel dispenser. Oh, okay, let's put that in the bathroom, shall we? Down here. Uh, we have to hit us a bit, do we? Nope, can't put that, okay, we can put that there, can't we, next to the bath, maybe? There we go. And we've got the Auntie's Supply Tabouret, which actually has nothing to do with anything, it's to do with Plissa Berry. So let's put that there, there, shall we, because that's probably, you know, this is the place where she is actually going to be doing her thing. And we've got excellent quality veggie burgers that he made. Okay, let's bung that inside of there, shall we, because you may as well eat them. And what's that there? What's that, that there might be a rare fish. What is it? It's fried fish. Never mind, it's the fish that he's actually made. Okay, let's throw that one away then, shall we? Yes, let's throw that away. Let's throw this away. And sell that, because I don't need another microwave, and go from there. So, we're going to press this here. I'm going to immediately drag this into my inventory, so that way I can mount it up. So, we're going to name this Cade's Fish. Cade's fish right here and then we're going to mount it and then we're going to stick it on the wall over here to remind us of our day so Cade is there it does say doesn't it yeah Cade's fish is there Jen's fish is there and plus a berry's fish is right there so that's not too bad we've got confident decor in this room now actually to be fair because of the fact that we've got all these things in here either way we're now on play mode, aren't we? Yes, we are. So, Cade, I want you to, in this hour, go and do your homework. And Jennifer is actually up at the moment. She's going to go eat, and then she'll probably end up doing fine, I imagine. So we'll go from there. So I'm more concerned with Lissa Berry at this point. You might just want to grab some food at some point, which won't be too bad. Okay, how about you go and grab some food? Food. Okay, so let's have a quick meal and I'll turn those notifications off because that's a little bit annoying. And we're going to eat some cereal because that's probably the only thing we can eat at this point. I'm going to make her sit at this table over here and hopefully the maid will come in about two hours and actually sort this entire house out, which is kind of what she needs. Is she actually going to. Where is she? Clissa, where did you. Oh, she sat, out, sat outside like a loner. Okay, I suppose that's one way of doing things. And you're not going to work, and Cade, you're should, you should be going to school. But you're doing your homework, which I suppose isn't the worst thing in the world, provided you don't take up too much time. I know, I know, I know. If I don't answer the phone, I don't think he gets the performance decrease. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, do your homework. And go to school. There we go. That's fine, go to school. He went to school a little bit later than he should have done, maybe, but screw it. Where are you, Jennifer? Sorry? Where are you? Are you on the toilet? Sorry about that. I'll give you some privacy, shall I? 
whilst you'll go whilst you go on the toilet and the maid shall come in and he shall have his work put out for him okay so we have a uh a vent here for all Pelissa berry so show review Pelissa has been taped to review a popular art show for one of the top art blogs is this opportunity to give readers straight or remember the art is subjective give it to them straight that was the option last time so overly biased oh, the top comment on the article says obviously Pelissa Escaping review of Call Me, the artist built with smartphones, is the most biased piece of journalism ever written. She couldn't make it pop. Ah, uh, either way. I want you to be loose. Oh, not too bad, to be fair. He didn't lose anything at all, did he, really? Okay, so we've got work with her in, like, two hours. And we haven't necessarily done our thing, have we? No, we have not. Ooh, I've now got to achieve level two piano skill. Okay, this is something we've got to think now, haven't we? We've actually got to go get a piano. Okie dokie. So, let's go and get a piano. Okay, so, I've actually had a look at music rooms. And this, by the way, is the stuff that I basically saved to my gallery over here. And I have got three music rooms over here. Oh, sorry, five music rooms over here saved. So this one here is pretty nice, I think, personally. This one over here is pretty nice, but it's a little bit too, sort of, uh, I don't know, posh. I mean, it will fit in with the decor. This here was quite nice as well. It's a band room more than actually I'm just a music room. I think that's pretty nice as well. If you had a musical family, I definitely would go with that one there. And then we've got the music and theatre, which I just, I don't necessarily want it, but that's pretty cool how that one there is made. And then we've got the vampire music room, which I think just looks really cool and like dark and sort of punkish which is what we actually are so how about we place this room inside this house okay so i've made a mini corridor right here so i'm going to insert this exactly there which should work perfectly yes it kind of does doesn't it kind of does work perfectly i'm actually going to place this here and keep it here at this size oh, i should probably press this button here and we're going to say yes we're fine with that and i need to dab this and we're going to make the walls and the floors whatever this here was. There we go. And obviously at some point I can probably put some more stuff over here. I'm also going to blob the doorway. And then put a doorway right there. Probably the only way I could probably necessarily do that is to have a separate doorway right there. Actually, where's the uh, lights for all of this? Let's grab these lights over here and put these lights into here. So that way at least this place is lit up somewhat. We will have to uh, choose auto lights for all so auto lights all lights otherwise we'll have issues and how about then you come down here and practice and with this in mind i will say to you that we have basically finished uh, half an hour of the sims which is probably for the best right now so how about i say that uh please click on links on your screen right now and the links is one of the one of the videos is over to a different channel actually this time. I'm gonna to link to my arc content over on Aerial Heights because that's where I also post other videos. And over there I'm playing uh, Arc Survival Evolved. And the next and previous will go next to previous of The Sims 4. Please rate, comment and subscribe to this video and to my channel and maybe go check out Aerial Heights. Thank you very much and thank you for watching. Goodbye.